Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a new video. And today I'm going to be telling you guys how to gain access to a bunch of free V Bucks within Save the World every single day. So you can earn up to a total of roughly 300 V Bucks every single day from using this technique. Now, if you don't have Save the World, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to do this. You're going to require Save the World to do this. I recommend buying Save the World if you haven't already, or you have got it, or maybe a friend's got it or something. Maybe share it with a like, game transfer or something like that. There's a few different techniques you can do to gain access to Save the World. And once you've got it, you will be sorted and you will be able to play save the world and gain access to all these V-Bucks. Anyway, I'm going to be going over all the different methods and all the different like techniques you can use to gain this. So let's start off with the first one. The first one is daily quests. You can actually grant yourself 50 V-Bucks from daily quests. And if you let these stack, you can get a total of 150. Now, the interesting thing about Save the World itself is it also grants you V-Bucks from completing missions in Twine Peaks and Canny Valley. That can be a total of 150 plus V-Bucks per day. So, so far, we've added up to 200 V-Bucks. We'll go over exactly Exactly the steps of this later on in the video talking about exactly where you can grab these V books from but for now I'm just doing kind of like an overall summary of it and then I'll show you guys what websites to use where to go to see to get the V books and we'll get into that in a moment now the next stage is actually daily rewards in total on average once you've hit about week I think day 21 plus or like a month plus once you've played the game for about a month logging in daily you can earn up to 150 V books every seven days that's a total of 21 V books every seven days so that again adds up to about roughly 221 or 200 depending on your daily quest and how many missions you do as well could add up to maybe 271 so you've got about 271 v bucks already obviously it's only an estimate 150 divided by 7 is 21 v bucks per day and then you go over to your battle royale outside of stuff and you also earn v bucks on there if you own the battle pass now i assume near enough 99 percent of you own the battle pass if you don't own the battle pass you're missing out on a bunch of free skins fair enough if you don't like the skins but the only way of getting 300 v bucks per day is by owning the battle pass as well unless you get extremely lucky with your missions so in total the battle pass has 1,500 V bucks involved in it. That's 10 weeks in total. If you divide that by 10, that is 150, the same as a daily reward. So technically, you're getting a daily reward there. And then you divide that by seven. Again, that is 21 V bucks per day. You add that onto the total, and that is 292 V bucks per day. Now, depending on what other missions you've got in Save the World, you could earn over 300 V bucks per day, depending on what missions you've got in that. But for now, that's just a brief summary of it. I'm going to get into a little bit more detail for you guys, explaining where you can get these free V-Bucks from. I know there's a bunch of people out there who have been asking, Pat, what website are you using for this? Where else can you get access to these V-Bucks? Well, the V-Bucks themselves all come from Save the World. No third party at all. It's just websites telling you guys guides on where to get the V-Bucks from. So the first thing I want to mention before we go into any of these websites is in your career place, in your locker and in your... Uh, not Sorry, <laughs> I'm on the wrong page here. In your chat challenge page on save the world not your career in your challenge page on save the world basically your career on save the world you head into there and you'll see a variety of different challenges to complete now there's a few side quests on there as we go on quests down here in your challenge page in your challenges you can see down here we've got a few different side quests here we've got one that gives you 30 v bucks that's only at stage two for me very easy to do we've also got one here complete storm defense for simply you complete missions to do that you get 50 v bucks from that here we've We've got another one as well it says here complete 10 missions and you get 50 v bucks here we've got a uh, we've actually got another one as well which is on i believe side quest is it on no it's not on side quest there's one that i've seen it on i can't remember which one it is it's like your missed monsters i don't know where it is it might be on challenges daily quest not completed side quest it's not there hero quests not there event road trip you probably get a bunch on the road trip event as well i've already got the ones from the road trip but there's also a few different ones where you kill like missed monsters and stuff and you can get a bunch that way there's just tons of ways of getting v bucks through here and you can gain access to them very easy so don't worry about it guys you guys will easily be able to gain access to free v bucks just by doing that you also get a bunch of free v bucks from doing your storm defense so it doesn't show up on mine because i've already done them but if you haven't done your storm defense in stonewood every single one you do on your storm defense and that's a total of 10 you get a total of 50 v bucks sometimes a little bit more depending on which one it is and you can grant yourself absolute tons of v bucks from doing that as well so guys you can gain access to v bucks so easily it's ridiculous if i go on my completed quest look how many ones of v bucks so 100 v bucks there complete home storm defense five there you are so you got 100 v bucks there more than 50 and then you've got some more as well as further you go down another 100 there storm shield defense two 
2. So bear in mind, guys, I'm getting absolutely bare V-Bucks from this. Add to make your Storm Shield 100 V-Bucks. There's just so many V-Bucks you can get from here. Another 100 V-Bucks there. A Storm Defense 6. Another 100 there. And you just keep going through. 100 V-Bucks there as well. Storm Defense 1. Another 100 V-Bucks there. So all these 100 V-Bucks I'm getting from Save the World. In total, I know people have earned about 9,000, maybe even more V-Bucks from playing Save the World. It's absolutely insane. Anyway, let me get into a few methods for you guys to understand exactly how the reward system works and understanding which missions you need to get onto to grant yourself these v bucks to earn over 300 per day all right guys so next up we've got a website called storm shield one and this website is probably the best website for save the world in my opinion on the web now this website goes over a variety of different stuff and kind of talks about how many v bucks you can earn per like challenge recycle and basically there's new challenges near enough every hour near enough near enough there's absolute tons of challenges that pop into the game and missions challenges whatever you want to call them where you can grant yourself access to free v-books now currently i've just checked the page as recording this video and there are no v-books available but as time goes on challenges do appear new missions to gain access to v-books you can see here i've got a few v-books from yesterday that i actually went and did with my friend on here you can see here we've got a challenge that says 35 v-books right there and that's a mission alert so alert summary we've got a new mission there it's in canny valley so i had to go on with my friend in canny valley and do a level 52 mission down there for 35 v bucks now this can be the case for twine as well on the ones on twine you can get up to 40 v bucks now if you're probably thinking pat i'm nowhere near twine or canny you can speed run both stonewood and plankton in almost a day so you can do each one in a day and once you've smashed through them you'll get onto canny and then there's a speed there's a way of speed running canny which i'm going to be making a video on very soon and then once you've done that obviously you're in twine do a few missions in twine and you'll be able to have access to all of the missions you can actually do this underpowered you don't need to be the highest power level in the game there's a lot of stuff at the minute going around on save the world where people are thinking you need weapons to complete all this stuff you know i'm in contact with some of the best save the world players on fortnite and to be honest you don't even need good weapons to be able to complete save the world stop worrying about it i think it's the way youtube has actually kind of brought it up and stuff the way youtube has caused all this big like trade stuff and all the stuff within save the world has caused huge riots within the community and honestly it's not good it's bad for the community all the community think you need good weapons and at the end of the day you don't even need that good weapons in save the world you simply can do it just by using traps on screen here you can see one that happened later on in the day that allowed me to gain 35 v bucks in canny and also 40 in twine if that happens twice in a day you'll be granting yourself 150 v bucks just make sure to keep checking back on storm shield one the website it will be linked down below in the description and you guys can grant yourself all of these free v bucks it's absolutely awesome but let's get back to talking a little bit about weapons and stuff like that for those worrying about like save the world and struggling with missions honestly guys if you guys have leveled up a few heroes you've used a few hero abilities a little bit more you've got one or two good weapons you don't even need that good weapons if you've got good hero abilities that'll push you through the early stages of the game you only need a few good weapons and then when you get higher up into the game you'll obviously need like a decent weapon but nothing amazing you won't need like the grave digger or anything like that you simply can use something basic and you'll be able to gain access to it here it is again that picture on screen of the 35 viewers and 40 viewers just to show you to clarify but honestly guys do be careful a lot of people have been misleading save the world recently thinking you need good weapons just take a step back think about it i think you know you use traps use good heroes good strategies good building techniques and you will grant yourself easy victories in save the world allowing yourself to gain access to the v-bucks and that is how i earn 300 v-bucks per day and it's how i've got so many v-bucks on my account at the minute i've just been doing this technique over and over granting all these v-bucks to myself and it's such an easy technique anyway moving on to the last site now this talks a little bit more about daily rewards pretty interesting let's pop straight into this so the website we're on right now is free the vbooks.com it's an absolute awesome website and goes over near enough every single technique you can use to gain access to free v books now obviously it doesn't show you exactly all the mission quests and stuff and doesn't really explain it 100 percent but this website is a pretty good website to use for certain things. For example, login rewards. This is the main one I'm gonna be focusing on. On here, you can see now, we have all of the login rewards right here. So this will help you be able to gain access to all of these rewards. And hopefully, you guys can get them pretty easily. So basically, the way it works, it talks about how you can, um, once you get to day 35, every seven days, you'll be earning 
150 viewers is it every seven from there i believe yes every seven days from there it is so once you get to 49 it's seven days every single seven you'll be gaining this in 49 once you've logged in 49 times you'll be earning 150 viewers every seven days and some days you can earn well more than that and get up to maybe even 300 800 and even a thousand if you log in 336 times so you can grant yourself a good chunk of v bucks 800 there just from logging in every three days this gets it over to 300 per day obviously this is only every seven days but when you divide that by seven it gets it up and gives you about 20 to 40 v bucks per day depending on which one you're gaining access to if you're gaining access to a thousand or 800 you'll be granting yourself a lot of v bucks per day and also it goes over a few other techniques you can gain access to v bucks another way of gaining access to v bucks is actually using the collection book now the collection book itself is an awesome technique i'll show you guys that as well i don't really want to focus on this too much but the collection book can grant yourself 500 v bucks at level 6 26 v bucks at level 500 and also at level 91 another 500 sorry 500 v bucks at all i'm sorry not 26 v bucks 500 v bucks at all them levels so that's a 1500 v bucks in total it also talks about other stuff you can gain access to which is pretty cool mission quest line main quest line sorry you can gain access to a bunch of stuff here it talks about all your different v bucks and stuff side quests these are pretty interesting you click on that you can gain access to a few different stuff it talks about it like i did at the start of the video not as much depth really to be honest the best page on this website by far is clear like it talks about events and stuff the only good page i really use on here is daily request daily quest and login rewards this rates the daily quest and which ones are the easiest to do i'll probably make a separate video on this but it's an awesome page to check out it tells you guys to reset them or not and it tells you, uh, like the look base and how easy they're to do server racks and stuff like that it rates it one star would not recommend for 50 view bucks to be honest this is a really good page on this website and it's got daily quest and login rewards them two like the main two i'd recommend because obviously you want to know when you're earning your V-Bucks next or your big amount of V-Bucks. You can check on here and see. You know, if I look on my Save the World right now on my other screen on my left, I've got, uh, I'm on day 207 so i go to here and think 207 is around here so i've got to wait till day 224 and then i'll gain access to 800 v bucks and then when's the next one 252 280 308 and then it kind of just goes over all the different like v bucks you can gain access to but it's an awesome website and i highly recommend checking it out i've got both the websites down in the description for you guys go and check them out it'll help you guys gain access to free v bucks in fortnite battle royale they're not exactly free because technically you have to purchase save the world but most people purchased save the world recently on the recent sale so that's why i thought i'd make this video other than that i'd recommend highly purchasing save the world even though it's not on the sale anymore you will definitely grant yourself them v bucks just from purchasing it and playing it every single day now consider in mind you will have to take on the first two missions or two zones and save the world but if you grind that for a few days and you get the hang of it pretty easy i reckon you could complete it in two days if you know what you're doing but if you don't really know what you're doing you could probably complete it in about a week or so or maybe a little bit less like four days playing time which isn't bad at all so get yourself used to save the world master it and you'll be able to complete these quests pretty easy personally i'm not actually there yet but i don't play that much save the world i just know a lot about it because i play with a bunch of people who know good stuff about save the world generally so i want to thank everyone who's helped me out and save the world recently the gameplay you're seeing in the background are two of my good friends on save the world it's been absolutely awesome playing save the world with these they're really good they're very talented and they do help me understand everything i know about save the world credit to mythical me for actually helping me with the idea of this video it's an absolutely video his channel will be down below if you want to check him out he's done a great job coming up with this idea talking exactly how he gains access to viewers every single day when he wants the V-Bucks and also if you guys want to gain access to the V-Bucks you can use this technique. Share this technique with all your friends. If you are new to the channel do stick around for daily Fortnite content. I hope to be bringing out a bunch of merch very soon for you guys as well. This has been an awesome video to make and I've been putting it back a few times so thanks for the inspiration from the stream last night. I managed to make this video for you guys. A lot of you were asking for the V-Buck video so this one is going to help you guys out a lot. Gaining 300 V-Bucks a day can really change your style of Fortnite. It can grant you good weapons on Save the World by using llamas and all also grant you great skins on fortnite battle royale depending on which game you enjoy more personally i have been starting to enjoy save the world a lot i wouldn't say it's better than battle royale at this moment in time but it definitely is a very enjoyable game mode and to be honest if you get the hang of it and you start to really enjoy it i can see a lot of people moving over to save the world from battle royale in the future of fortnite at this moment in time that is not the case though but maybe in the future when battle royale starts to die save the world could see a big up and hopefully it possibly could see a huge trend within the community hope you guys have enjoyed don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe and once again this is postbox part signing out